With the Tenoro parts hidden behind the Axi T6 Relic as the uncommon drop for the stock, rare drop for the Lith T5 Relic being the barrel, do you believe it's the receiver that's the rare drop on the Meso T4 and the Neo B7 having it as a common drop for the blueprint, the Tenoro Prime? It has increased from Mastery Rank 10 to Mastery Rank 14, meaning, well, Everything on this just looks so much better. The skin, the gun, damage. Wow. 30% crit chance instead of 28. The crit multiplier has gone up. The fire rate's gone up. The magazine's gone up. The status has gone up. The damage has gone up in every single aspect. Apart from the charged mode, where the fire rate is now slower. Much, much, much slower. But everything else is green. It's about time these things had this because it's been so long since they've actually done this. Oh, he has a prime weapon. It's cosmetically different, has more polarities to it. It's got a little bit of a stat change. No, this has a huge stat change. This is going to be so much better than its counterpart. And it comes with two Vs on it. And I just, while putting the mods in it, had that oh wow moment. Don't forget if you are looking for a ribbon for this, some ribbons may look absolutely amazing but the normal Tenora has a ribbon disposition of 3, this has 1, meaning that 164% damage, 74.5. It lost 90 damage just because it's going into the Prime version, so be very careful of that if you are out there buying it or even re-rolling a ribbon, make sure you kind of look at it for the prime version because that that would be amazing that would make this thing so much better that oh just because it's two kind of damages it's okay but if it was just one type of damage there is an el elemental mods do 90 percent damage which if this was just the base damage with a bunch of other stuff wouldn't be worth it if it was just the impact wouldn't be worth it the fact it has both on it's kind of worth it but it works so much better on the normal Tenora because the disposition has gone from 3 to 1. Even taking the Riven disposition being really kind of bad on these, yes, you expect this thing to be so much better. The crit chance has got an extra 2%. The crit multiplier has got an extra 0.2. And to me, it's the fact that it has a 200 magazine really saved this thing. The extra status, the extra damage. I tried to build the normal Tenora, tenora using the same Riven to see if it made any difference and this thing was still doing nearly 200 damage more. It wasn't quite that much, it was more around 150. <laughs> but I keep rounding things up and I shouldn't be doing that. It was around 150 more damage on this thing. Which is weird because comparing the two there's only 4 damage total difference ignoring the charge attack. Yes, the charge attack on this is good, it basically does 10 times the damage has well instead of it being 30% crit chance it has 40 with a 3 times multiplier it does have a quicker charge rate than the normal version comparing this to the normal version of the Tenora would be a complete waste of time because this is better than the normal Tenora in every way the Riven disposition I thought was going to make a huge difference. This is one of the things that delayed this. I wanted to do this on Friday, no, yesterday. But I had to do the giveaway video yesterday. I was going to do this as well. And when I actually went to do this, realized I forgot to do the giveaway video. So yeah, uh, dropped the ball on that one ever so slightly. But I've spent the past few days playing with nothing more than the Tenora and the Tenora Prime. And the Tenora Prime with the same build on just has more damage. There's no getting around it. The Riven Disposition, if it was the same, this thing would have been an absolute beast. But it's not. It's just ever so slightly different instead of it being three to one. And I also know so badly no people are going to say I'm daft for not running split chamber in this because I don't have multi shot on either of these but you can see the standard one the crit is obviously less but it, I could only why is it only got cold on now I swear sometimes 
the, this just goes terribly wrong. I had to change the dual elemental mod for the, just the base elemental mod. So it's, <laughs> I just had to take out the ice dual stat mod and put the other one in. Don't know why I do, oh I do. What the daily thing was kill 150 enemies with ice. So I threw ice on this, just ice. It didn't change it, 414.7 with just under 4,000 charge damage. The Prime, however, 522.7. That's a huge increase. Same mods, by the way, and over 5,000 total damage. Yeah, they kind of speak for themselves here. It also has more crit chance, but things like that just come down to the fact that, well, it has more base crit, so when you increase that by a percentage, it's going to increase to a higher maximum anyway. Hence, the Prime one, every way, still does more damage. And I know people are about to say this is a really bad build. Honestly, don't care. This is just what I've landed on for now. I will be changing this in the future, but this is what both of them had, and they both had this Riven in. So the Riven disposition didn't make that much of a difference. If it was the same, these damage numbers would have been a lot, lot bigger. I agree with everybody else. I would have loved the Riven Disposition to stay as three, and this thing to have had a lot more damage, but it would have had, oh, an insane amount of damage. And yes, for those who are going on about the build, because I know you are doing it, you do it every time. The only reason I show the build is to kind of explain the numbers, and you can see what I was using at the time. I've got an empty mod slot all the way to the right, but the reason Vigilant Armaments is in there is I'm also running Vigilant, uh, Fevor, however you want to pronounce that, for increased fire rate. The two together add an extra 10% chance to enhance crit chance from primary weapons. Yes, I am losing damage, I am losing multi-shot because it's only 60%, but I was kind of trying to get this thing to red crit. And the only reason I showed that build is simply down to the fact that they both had the same th mods on. Well, near enough. I can't remember what the big difference was. Nothing that really made that 100 something damage difference. It was as close as I could get them without spending an insane amount of former. I'm generally not going to fourth former the normal Tenor. It's not worth it. The Tenor Prime is just better in every single way. I'm still using it for that matter. It's Sunday and this thing came out on Tuesday. Granted, I didn't get it till Wednesday, but yeah, still using it. Still Still thoroughly enjoying it and it's not that good on the steel path for the steel path charge attacks on this help it a lot like a heck of a lot without the charge attack this thing would be completely useless for a lot of the steel path stuff but everything up until the steel path this thing never had a problem not a single one to the point of as I say I'm still using it I've been using way too many AoE based primaries and secondaries anyway, so I liked trying to aim again. It's been way too long since I've tried to aim in Warframe because there's way too many AoE based weaponry. This was a nice change. The fact that it now has the kind of damage that most primes should to begin with was really nice. I thoroughly enjoyed this thing and it is just the tenor much better. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. So with that, I think we'll just leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.